What free things online should everyone take advantage of? HTTPS slash slash nabaprojectcom slash it's a website that has compiled psychology topics into easy to read modules. They have been compiled by psychology university professors to help facilitate free education for students. You can even download the ones you're interested as a PDF as many times as you want. All of this is free. Z library millions of free books and articles in multiple formats. You can download up to 5 books a day without an account, and up to 10 if you sign up for free. It's a really great site. I saw this in a previous post. This should be a lot higher. It's taken me a long time to get used to the idea that I never have to pay for a book ever again. Confirmed. I just downloaded two textbooks a few days ago. Saved me about $300. One Uto.com it is a car parts supplier, but their videos show exactly what tools you need, what parts you need, and how to do a repair yourself. Great money saver, if you don't know much about mechanics. Someone I knew, was going to get screwed by their mechanic. 700 bucks for a water pump replacement. Showed them that, they did it themselves for 30 bucks. It makes it quicker too, knowing what tools you need ahead of time for your particular car. Edit. I agree they are not the best for parts, this was just about their videos. For parts, Recorto.com is great. If you need an item quicker, and have an advanced auto nearby, order online and pick up in store. They almost always have a coupon online for at least 20% off, which you can apply and pick up in store, around 30 minutes later, yet save quite a bit versus just going in and buying. Last edit. For those that are not mechanically inclined and do not want to mess with it, use repairpull.com when you receive a quote and make sure the price is reasonable. It will give you a pretty general idea of what you should be paying in your area. It's not 100% but will help keep you from getting ripped off. Unfortunately, there are a lot of shops that will take advantage of a situation. Not saying all, of course, but that way you will know for sure. Thanks for the silver, as well. This site's YouTube videos and Scotty Kilmer have saved me a lot of money. Also, made me not afraid to attempt to fix the small things going on with my car. HTTPS slash slash thinunprojectcom slash has a wide selection of icons. I use them for presentations. Thank you for this information. My work presentations just got way better. Cheers. Flytrader 24 it allows you to see plane traffic live this just kept me entertained forever. This site nearly single-handedly cured my fear of flying. HTTPS slash slash unsplash point com slash unsplash is where you can get free photos of just about anything, provided by the photographers themselves, to do with what you like. Pexels point com and pixabay point com too. Some of the collections overlap, but not all. The search algorithms or tags seem to be slightly different too, so I'll find things in different places. HTTPS Slash slash www.freesicle.org It's literally people giving away stuff they don't need slash want any more that they can't slash don't care enough to sell also the buy nothing project on Facebook. If available in your area it's hyper local gifting and wishing for items. If you're moving and need boxes, who doesn't, this is a great place to go. I've used and donated boxes several times. It's a huge money savings and good for the planet. Literally is that a pun? If you're in the USA and you earn less than a certain amount of money, currently $69,000, you can use the same software to file your taxes for free. The system is called FreeFile, and companies that sell you tax software are trying very hard to make it difficult to find. Don't let them. The US needs to fix that. In Sweden, the government basically does it for us, and we just approve it, or make some changes if needed. Most don't change anything, only in certain cases. Most people just click approve and move on with their lives. You can log in and do it in 2 minutes. Public origin. Best at bloker by a mile. Websites are 95% ads and 5% content nowadays, but uBlock brings balance to the force. Works on all browsers even mobile. Man, I love uBlock origin. Unfortunately it's not available on iOS, because Apple's uses a proprietary extension system point. If I had to use the internet without uBlock I'd probably just go outside and get proper hobbies and friends. Maybe not everyone, but for students Zotero is a lifesaver. 
it will store your sources, import them to a bibliography in whatever citation style you need, and even create in-text citations in your paper. It saves hours of work. Zotero.org where was this? When I was doing my research article? And it integrates with Google Docs to auto-populate your references. Most large universities have their courses online for free. MIT Open Course Ruck Berkeley used to have 20,000 videos of their courses available for free online, but two employees from another university removed them by suing under the Americans with Disabilities Act complaining that they didn't have closed captioning and therefore discriminated against deaf people all 20,000 videos were deleted. Terms of service didn't read a free site for people too lazy to read the entire 2s. Edit, this is a crowdsourced project so please, to contribute if you can. Terms may be changed any time at their discretion, without notice to the user just saw this. This should be illegal. Dolly Parton's Imagination Library, if you have a child younger than 5. The send an age appropriate book once a month. It's amazing. I have so many books for my daughter, since I signed up, and she loves getting them in the mail. HTTPS slash slash imagination library point com slash asterisk edited to add it is not available everywhere but it is worth checking to see if it is available in your area thank you for the silver much appreciated this one is really incredible such a diverse range of books from classic stuff like little engine that could to new stuff like llama llama it's pretty amazing what she's done USPS and UPS both will deliver free packaging boxes, envelopes, bubble wrap, etc. to your house. Literally doesn't cost a thing and you can get like 50 boxes at a time. Whoa. I just started selling my art so this is a big help. Thank you. Wow. That's a shocker. Used to work at a UPS store and we charged a ton of money for boxes and bubble wrap. People would be so mad if they knew about this. Skiplagged.com for flights. It's so good that United sued them and lost. They essentially exploit the pricing manipulation that airlines use. Example, if you want to go from Phoenix to Atlanta, sometimes a ticket from Phoenix to Feet. Lauderdale connecting through Atlanta is cheaper. This website finds those flights for ya. Just don't check in a bag. Edit, a succinct article highlighting tips and risks. Summary, you sit sparingly, and you'll be good. Edit 2, the website's creator did an AMA 5 years ago. I used to work for American Airlines. If you do use this, make sure you have a completely separate reservation for your return flight. Once you miss a segment of your flight, airlines will usually cancel any other flights on that reservation, because they assume you won't make them either I fly a lot for work. I received a cease and desist letter for doing this saying I would be banged from the airline. Be careful with this one. HTTP www.photoforensics.com Wanna know if that pic on the front page of Reddit is photoshopped? Takes some skill to learn how to use, but they have tutorials on the site. HTTPS slash slash archive.org slash has lots of old but free content. For example a lot of DOS games, directly playable through the browser I always love the opportunity. To be able to talk about http archive.org because it is such a wonderful and free resource. It has millions of free downloads for music, movies, books, software, etc. One very popular example is that it is home to a very large catalog of Grateful Dead recordings. There's also the Internet Arcade, where you can play a lot of classic games along with the console living room, which is similar. They have access to tons of old PC games too, and you can even play the original Oregon Trail online. It also has the Wayback Machine which has archived more than 396 billion web pages saved over time, so you can go back and see how websites were years ago. For example, here's Reddit on July 25th, 2005 a month after it was created. My 90s TV this is more of a novelty website, but I think it's pretty cool, and you can lose yourself for hours with nostalgia. It basically uses YouTube videos to simulate watching TV in 90s, and you can specify what year you want, and what categories you want to see when you change channels. There is also a my 80s TV and a my 70s TV this is so freaking cool. I love how seamless it is. When flipping through channels it picks random videos, based on the channel programming, and it does not always start at the beginning, just like regular scheduled TV. Awesome. 
Edit. I've been checking this out only for a few minutes, but already have been introduced into new music I love that I've never seen previously, and also seen commercials for movies I want to watch, also that I have never heard of before. Totally different way of traversing the YouTube rabbit hole. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe.